Well, one was really a direct response to a challenge that we found over the course of the past eight years here in trying to find really good quality accommodation for the young professionals who work with us and work with some of our colleagues in this community and at a, at a price that was actually affordable. Uh, but also in a style that really reached out to that community who are looking for something a little bit more edgy, a little bit more modern, who have traveled from all around the world to join us here in the Turks and Caicos. And this is the new one loft community, which is located at the entrance of Thompson Cove in Provo, consists of 32 new residential lofts, which according to Durliad have all been purchased. And on Friday, July 17th, a grand opening party took place. Yeah, it's really it's a thank you party for everybody who helped us get here. It's a thank you to those buyers. You know, we sold out the property in three weeks, and so all of our buyers have stuck by us the whole time. So really just kind of say thank you to them and to the, to the, the various contractors and, and engineers and architects and everybody who helped us just really pitch in to get this project done. Uh, tonight's really for them. The entire complex is a gated community surrounded by security fencing, remote controlled access and on-site security personnel. Each residential unit measures 1,200 square feet of interior space and consists of two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Durliette went into detail about the features of these units. Well, the design really was created off of uh, the concept of loft living, which has become very popular in Paris, London, New York, where have you, across the world. And the idea is to create large uh, open spaces that allow for lots of personalization and creativity in each owner's, in each owner's style. So the units have 18-foot ceilings. They have mezzanine floors, polished concrete on the floor. Uh, it's very modern in style, so you can go in there into the rooms, and into the into the lofts, and create your own your own sort of personality, if you like. In addition to that, we're able to create for the first time in a in a in a sensibly priced housing community a private garden for everybody. Durliet continued to say that the landscaping on the entire property is very ecological, using as much local vegetation as possible. After speaking with the developer of the property, News 4 took some time to speak with a homeowner of one of the new loft complexes. Originally I purchased it uh, as an investment, um, sort of uh, just as a rental property and then uh, sort of as I decided I was, didn't like being back in the UK and preferred it being out here, I decided to come back and now I'm going to move in. Though all residents have been sold, there are a few units now available for sale and rent.